So here it is, the Prius Inverter, the almighty Gen 3 Prius Inverter, dual channel with a DC-DC. Now I need to figure out how to make this thing talk to the BMW i3 Rex motor. So to be able to do that, I'm going to have to pull out the stock logic card that drives this inverter and replace it with this EV BMW or open inverter logic card. Basically what this thing does is it takes out the entire brain of the inverter and it replaces it with something that we can control the MOSFETs with. Once we have control of those, we'll be able to make it drive any motor that we want, including the BMW Rex generator, which is our main goal here. So the next step is I have to pull this inverter apart, pull out the stock logic card, see what's involved with doing that, and I know that I have to solder on some pretty tiny connectors, so that'll be pretty interesting. But once I get that all sorted, I can hopefully get to programming on this thing and making it start to talk to the BMW generator. So it looks like everything physically fits pretty good inside of this thing. Now, the fun part. Soldering on those connectors. And to be honest, right now as I'm making this video, I'm waiting for a soldering iron that is basically a heat gun that gets extremely hot so that I can solder on these connectors. I basically have to use a paste that pastes onto the tabs on the board and then from there I use a little heat gun which basically is just a really hot heat gun that I can pinpoint and melt the solder on the SMD connectors. So basically on the motor side, I have this resolver here. And I have to be able to communicate to this thing and figure out how to make that talk to the inverter. Basically as far as I understand, this resolver is an ABZ resolver, but I'm not 100% sure on that yet. And in the simplest way possible that I can tell you this, I have to make that resolver communicate to the board so that the board knows where the motor's position is so that it basically knows when to fire the coils. This is kind of like timing on a gas engine to where you have to get the timing just right to make the spark happen and basically blow up the fuel at the exact right time. The same thing goes for electric motors. If you don't fire that coil at the right time, it'll basically stop the rotor or do something worse, like just smoke the whole motor in general. So we don't want to do that. And the way that we're going to be able to read that resolver is with that board that we got. So the next big challenge, figuring out how to make that actually communicate to the board. And hopefully, once I get that figured out, We'll be able to get this thing to run and start that Kubota engine and eventually start making some electricity based on the fact that I'm going to be rejetting the entire time. So with all that being said, that concludes it for today's video. And if you haven't noticed yet, I did kind of change the format of how I'm doing these videos. I figured I'm trying to make this more informational than anything else. And honestly, I really don't care about being in front of the camera as much. I'm sure I'll pop on here and there, but for the most part, I'm going to try and put as much information as I possibly can into these videos so that they're actually helpful. With that being said, I'll catch you on the next one, and thanks for watching. Bye.